everybody to know how badly I can dress, yeah? <laughs> Thank you so much. The Lord bless you. And you can have your seats. And uh, I invite you to have your seats too. But not until you say hi to someone you didn't come with. Yeah, just reach out to someone you didn't come with. Tell them Karibu Sana. Tell them Karibu Sana. Tell them Karibu Sana. Karibu Sana Nairobi Chapel Karen. Yeah. Good morning. Are you well this morning? My name is Victor Bowa. Um, one of the pastors here, and it is an honor to be your MC this morning. This is the first day of our second year here. Isn't that amazing? Let's celebrate the Lord for that. Ooh, and I have company. I have company. I have company. Whoa. Am I being fired for something, Rose? Yeah, yes, this uh, uh, this is me. Yeah. Uh, is her mic on? Okay, it's it's on, Rose. Not yet. Okay, have this. Is that you? It is me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. But I've been here, man. Or is it Happy New Year because Karen is turning one today? No, yesterday was a pretty fool. So I'm wondering whether you're still playing the joke. No, I stopped being foolish. Um, I'm saved, washed by the blood. So yes. I'm good now, man. So don't worry about that. So you know, every time we see you... What do you mean every time you see me? There is Nyama. Okay. I'm a good guy because I'm a good guy and... Uh, uh, Alice prayed today that we'll own ship. So we're in Mbuzi. Ah, but I'm mimi ni na Mbuzi. Oh. I'm mimi ni Kondo. The Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. I'm not the sheep. Did I almost say that? Okay, I'm, I'm the sheep. Okay, you got it. You got me on that. So what, what, what is it you bring? So I heard that you were coming. I got the memo oh, yesterday. But you. yeah, you didn't get the memo of the dress code. You see, me, yes. I represent a certain community in this, this country. Okay. This worship team guy is Jenga, all of us. Yeah. Apart from Fiona and a few others, yeah? And because every time you're here, yes. there is Nyama. Okay. We decided to prepare some for you. Ah, guys, 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 guys. The good man is here. Yeah? The good man is here, and uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Oh. It's only the pastor that eats. You are, what about the other sheep? You are so scriptural. This is what scriptures say. You prepare for me a table before my enemies. Yeah. I didn't know it will take a year for the Lord to reveal who my enemies are. And thank so you. speaking of yes, the good man take water. yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is. Don't come up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sharing? You know, Sunday school, they say sharing is scary. No, 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 no. Sharing is scary. <laughs> scary. Hmm. Uh-huh. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Who fills my mouth with good things so that my youth is renewed, huh? And so you were talking about that this is now that let me let me just shift gears because then clearly um, this is jealousy working or uh, we're just shifting gears. Let me adjust my oh, oh, I am I am oh, a TV. I'm oh, a TV. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So speaking of anniversaries, mm. I have a question for you. And this one I need a man's perspective. Because I think a lot of the ladies here are struggling with that story. Am I paying for the meat? I guess. If, if you are able to decipher this one for us, mm -hmm. we will allow you to go with the whole meat. Okay. Ah, fine, fine. This is good for me. So there are three stages in life. One is birth. Yes. The other one is marriage. Okay. And the last one is death. No. Those are the three stages. Guaranteed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I agree with you, but it sounds like a trap. <laughs> so let's discuss the second one, because Pastor Oscar oh. discussed the third one. Oh, a few weeks oh, ago. He did, okay. So let's discuss the one around the wedding. Okay, okay. So you and I, or you and Madame, 
meet and you go through the motions of dating and yes. then finally you get married. Okay. And so the first year is good. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Uh, you even remember the first anniversary before you are done. You, you even plan for it. Yes. The second year, mm. uh, you, you kind of remember. Okay. Yeah? You, okay. you, you sort of remember. Am I being trapped? <laughs> the third year, yes. you remember the day after. You're like, oh, by the way, it was yesterday. Mm. Yeah? Okay. And even after Madame has been hinting and hinting and saying, you know, this week is a special week. On the day of the anniversary, she even dresses okay. You, it bitters you. Wait, did, she, did you tell on me? <laughs> <laughs> this is how we will work now, really. This is how we will work. <laughs> By the fifth year, yeah. why in Katika? No connection. We try Safaricom, you are told subscriber cannot be found. <laughs> we try Airtel, you are told Muteja can. We even say let us go to Telcom the landline, you know? Tururu, tururu. <laughs> what happens? And yet this is such an important occasion in your life. Please give me a man's perspective. Uh... Is this common to all of us or it's only me? Is it common to all of us? <laughs> Jimmy, what did you just say? Is it because Koi is not here? Where is Koi? Oh, so you haven't forgotten the second one here. I don't think I have five. But you know what? This is the logical thing. You know, men like to place value where value is. So, since I've been celebrating this lady every day of my life, do I, do I need one day to celebrate? But we celebrate Christmas. We celebrate Jamburi Day. But you know, Christmas we even is... celebrate every Fool's Day. No, we don't celebrate that. But you know, Christmas is Jesus. Man, do you want her to be struck by lightning? And you know, I, I put her up there. And Mashujade. Mashujade. For king and country. For Jesus and for my country. Man. <laughs> but you know what? You have the Tell test. me people but who work better. Let me go with my meat. You have the test. But let me no, tell you. No, I can still fight for this thing. <laughs> who you, does better? Do you who know, does better? Do you know that yes. in the UK, okay. when you get to your fifth year, your 65th, you actually get a letter from the Queen herself. What signed. do you mean? The Queen writes, you are Dear there. Victor and Uri. It is with Na Anandebe. Uh. In Australia, it's the same thing. Okay. The Prime Minister or the Governor General writes to you when you get to your fifth year, when you're 55, when you're 60. Wow. These are serious people. Even in America. Even in America. The President of the United States writes, writes to you. So you can imagine now, you and Maureen, your, your fifth year, Stand yeah, right. all great hair. Please imagine with hold, me. Imagine hold, hold with this, me. Yeah. We found a trick here. I'm also waiting for the fifth year. Yeah? So I'll write. So help me remind, uh, help me picture this. You're married 50 years. That allows you to live uh, very long. Leo, that's a very good thought. Isn't it? You're married 50 years. And you're seated right there with Maureen. She's also, he's also married to Maureen with me, yeah? Not the same Maureen, two different <laughs> Maureen, why are you as? Mary, my, why you, you are mine. Maureen has, yeah? Imagine you're seated with your spouse. It's, 50, it's been 50 years, okay? And so if you're like me, you don't have air in your head. Yeah? So you can tell which direction the wind is blowing very easily. And then you receive a letter from Donald Trump. <laughs> Sealed the United States of America. Wow! You open it. What do you think he would have written to you? Please discuss with your neighbor. 50 marks. Please discuss. What do you think the message would be? Given what we know about what does. What does. And when you discuss, I will I will discuss with my own here.
see discussions happening. Uh, all you people know my spiritual gift is to volunteer people. And I start from the back because I had invited you in front and you refused. So, right here. Did you guys discuss? Oh, so you need two minutes to discuss. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds. I'm not going away. Please note that we have uh, gifts for the most uh, interesting <laughs> message. Oh, oh, the we have Congratulatory message. Jimmy, are you set? Oh, Jimmy is set. You know him once I must get him. He left me alone. What a big help, yeah? Jimmy, what will Donald Trump tell you and go? I think Donald Trump will go like, gosh, you're still married. <laughs> <laughs> We should have asked this guy. Yeah? <laughs> don't, don't remember that answer. Who, who, who wants to go? Who else wants to go? Yeah. I saw discussions going on. Come yeah. on, guys, be a sport. They're all focused here and there. Why don't? Uh, you have an answer right here, yes. Yeah. I think it would invite me over my spouse to the she will be invited, uh, that Trump will invite her and her spouse to the White House. That would be so kind, yeah? Your dreams are valid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your dreams are well achieved. Just come and beg you, I'll keep praying for you. Let's take one more from this side, yeah? Uh, yeah, man, you have to go. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> So the day an anniversary come around, dinner, okay? So what else would you love to see? Of course, I would like to see a smartly dressed young man okay. and a smartly dressed lady. Okay, okay. Hold because it's right a special there. occasion and we're going for dinner okay. somewhere. Okay. So she's given us the hint. Guys, you knew today was an anniversary, see you? Okay, so let's see how many people from your table. I want you to nominate a few guys who got it right, who dressed right for the celebration. Yeah? Let's leave the clueless ones like me. So from the table, if you're on your table, nominate someone and ask them to stand. And this applies to the press as well. Yeah. The, okay. Best dress. Please you. nominate the best. We are starting with the ladies, so let the ladies come. I'm guessing, I'm guessing. Yeah, let the ladies come. Best dress. Come right here. 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 If you've been nominated, come right here. 
make a line for us here. But what happened? Right here. What right happened? Here. The topics are. Yeah. The other gender. I'm only seeing no, one yeah. gender. Ladies first. Oh. Ladies first. So let the ladies go first. Yeah. And then we. We'll... Okay. 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 Whoa! from Donald Trump. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask you to just have a seat, the two of you. <laughs> you, you this, is, this is not your league. <laughs> Come and sit right here. We will sit have right your here. category. Please occupy the seats that will be occupied right in the here. next Sunday. Yeah, right, right there, right there. So, uh, we want to pick two of these. We want to pick how many of these? Two. two. Yeah? And since me, I'm not very democratic. What are we, how are we going to select? I'll point at someone, I want to hear the, the screams you make. The you didn't bring you IBC to uh, help us? IBC are too busy now. They have an election in a few months to sort, so this one we sort here. So <laughs> uh, yeah. you? Screams. Okay. Yeah? Uh, yeah. So Rose will point. You scream. The loudest scream stays. <laughs> scream, wick, wick. We bless the Lord for you. You take your seat back, yeah? So if you nominated someone here, scream for them, okay? If you have vested interests, scream. If your accommodation is guaranteed by someone here, break your vocal cords, yeah? Anyway, so Rose, take us through. And there's no for using a bubuzela. Yeah, no no bubuzela. Oh, Naka is presented. No. Uh, it's okay. the one we are afraid of. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So we'll start with lady number one. <laughs> okay. Decibels, how did that go? Out of one out of ten. L let's, let's put the benchmark before we start. So, all you guys, I want you to give me the loudest scream. At one, two, three, go! <laughs> so that, that would be the, the benchmark. Okay? So if you want them to stay, keep it up there. If it goes on, on, on. <laughs> I have Rose. I have. So it's an answer, Tana. Answer. Okay. <coughs> Lady number one. <laughs> Good. Okay. Lady number two. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've got I've decided my ears are not working well. Okay, lady number three. <laughs> okay. Okay, keep going. Lady number four. <laughs> okay, keep going. Number five. Very loud. Come, come up, man. Yeah. Come up, come up, come on, come on stage. Come, come on, on, occupy the stage. stage. You don't have yes. to occupy the seats. Come yes. occupy the stage. Okay, okay. Oh, ah, yeah. Lady number seven. Woo! Yeah, no, 
So what are we going to do for them? The ones that uh, took the time to come up here. What, what's available on offer that they can be able to take home and uh, go and tell their better half? In Nishida, I want. Nyam. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now you see that one, now they have to carry the stomach now. Unless... They say now I'm healthier. So how do we get some of the gifts that we're going to do? Or you'll tell me later. Tell so me that let, let's okay. sort this first. Let's the men are waiting. Makofi Pao. No, let's do the finals. Do the thing. Here. Yeah, do the finals here. Yeah, so? Whoa, whoa. Uh, they, they want to come to Let me remove this. Okay, they will fit here, right here. Thank you, Bruce. Ay, 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 ay. Sasa wame kutana kwa debe. Rose, me, I can't do this. You just do it. I'm watching. I agree with what all you agree, so I don't know how this will be done. Can we go the screams way? Yeah. Yeah, I thought they would do a kafashi. Sure. Well, yeah! Yeah! yeah. Some music for us. We have some music. How we work. Yeah? And watch okay. the wires. So we start from here. Yeah? Yeah, 20 up. Okay. And give it your best shot. I'm telling you, Tuko Kanisa. Yeah. We have both physical and spiritual gifts. Yeah, okay. So you want to stop? Oh, you come want us. them all to come? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Music by DJ Jeremy. Okay, 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 my coffee, my coffee. when we are done with the men. Thank you so much. Celebrate her again. Okay, so for the men, 
this thing will do very fast. Sindio? Okay? Can I hear a, a who from the man? Okay. So men, uh, we agreed. Uh, we are not going to embarrass each other. So let's just pick one guy. Whose name starts with an A? Of the man. Thank you. 
They read Nairobi Chapel, Karen, the cups, the marks read Nairobi Chapel, uh, Karen. They are on sale for 700 bob. Yeah? As, as you buy, just tell the Lord, this is an offering that you help me deal with jealousy. Yeah? <laughs> Very important spiritual activity. So don't be left out, yeah? And don't be afraid. So at the back, there will be uh, uh, cups and t shirts. But we, we, we need to, you know, in a, when you celebrate, you've eaten, you've dressed, you also go for movies. So we need to show these guys movies. Huh? Show them a movie. Yeah? Anna, Rose, movie. So to Koka Cinema? Eh. Hey. Mr. Chairman, Zima Mata. 
Qatar. Lights. <laughs> KPLC. Oh yeah, that would work. Lights. Lights out. Thank you. And this other one. I want the yellow one out too. Yeah? So we watch a movie. Okay. Here. Oh, audio issues. Please wait. <laughs> Greetings, my name is David Box, and I've been a pastor in Arabi Chapel, Karen, from the time we commissioned in January all the way up till now. And I wanted to share a few highlights of what we've seen and experienced in the last year. And for me, one of the most amazing things has been seeing a community take shape, seeing people who are even outside of the church coming in and being reconnected to God, getting to know other people and, and making friends, and seeing leaders come up, seeing people take leadership of new ministries, seeing our tea ministry take off, our, our hospitality, um, even things like our, our video and, and our sound setup. It's been amazing to see all the ways that people have contributed to make care what it is today. And it's, we have so much to celebrate. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Betty Bulle. This is my, my church. This is the place I'd like to be. I joined this church from the first service that was in April uh, 3rd. That's when we had our first service. We started praying for Bella David and uh, God gave us this place. We've, it's a journey. As we celebrate our first year, we look forward to even uh, many more years and to have a relationship with God. My name is Alice. This family has been a good year, actually. It's been a very good year. In terms of prayer, um, we first of all did the prayer walk, the prayer drive. Before we started the church, we did a prayer drive, and then we met and um, prayed again, just to commission the, the, the church. Uh, we have had a milestone since then. We have had um, the Kesha. The Kesha was very successful. When I think of milestones at Nerby Chapel, Karen, one of the things that definitely stands out is our barbecues, the chance we've had to host so many people and to have them with trauma and really great food together. So that's been one of the highlights. I really appreciated and enjoyed the Matthew party we did a few weeks ago as we got to hear people from very different spiritual stages share their spiritual journey. And, and we got to share with them where we are and hear from them where they are. And that was an amazing opportunity to connect with new people. I really enjoyed that. I think seeing some of our prayer services has also been amazing. The breakfast Sunday that we did was a highlight for me. The Sunday where we had stations of prayer and we were able to go to different stations and pray over different needs and different issues was also an amazing, an amazing service that I'll remember for a long time. My name is Grace Nyaosi, and for the past one year, I've been very excited. I loved the, the togetherness that I felt, and even the way everybody was doing everything. Uh, you give a hand here and there, and so there was a lot of interaction that I loved. I also loved the pulpit ministry, uh, the series that go were going on, I didn't want to miss even one. I'm excited uh, to see the children's ministry also uh, moving on and also getting capacity. So I'm looking forward to seeing us affect the neighborhoods uh, of our community here because there are many people here actually who keep coming and going. And so I'm looking forward that this uh, second year we are going to have uh, more people. As they come, they also remain. Hi, I'm Kiganzi. I'm one of the members at Nairobi Chapel Karen. We moved to Hillcrest, which is a lovely, lovely place. We didn't have a hall, we have a state-of-the-art hall. We have eight classrooms for the kids, and uh, we're now 190 the last Sunday. We're 190 adults, about 40 kids, I don't remember, but we're growing. My name is Dr. Stella Kubasa. Since the church started in April last year, I've always looked forward to going to church like never before. I love being in a small church because when you're in a small church, you're able to participate in your own special ways as compared to being in a big church where you are swallowed by the crowd. We're actually praying God to provide finances so that we're able to buy our own space. Land in Karen is very, very expensive, but we know that the Lord we serve is a mighty God and he's able to provide. 
if you are looking for a community church, Nairobi Chapel currently is community church. Looking forward, my hope and my prayer is that as Karen, we can be united as we move forward to pursue and to achieve our goals, as we think of new ministries that we hope to start and to launch over the, the coming months. I hope we continue to expand our small groups, our youth groups, we continue to um, look at marriage and have a marriage ministry, to look at young people, to do more outreach and evangelism, hospital visitation, and other ways of, of connecting with people, other social justice ministries, and ways of inviting people to come into church, to come back to God, and to reignite their spiritual life. And that we can be a church known for discipleship, that we walk with each other as we walk to follow Christ. So my desire is that all of us can be united as we move forward to that goal, and we can achieve that together. So that's my prayer for the other chapter. Wow. So Pastor Victor, thank you for taking me for the movie. Well, was it was it really nice? nice, but there was no popcorn. <laughs> There's tea. There's tea. Don't bust my bubble. Cool down, cool down. This is the one time when I get uh, the men to serve the ladies. Clearly, it is the anniversary. Yes, it is. Yeah? My coffee, my coffee, Kwangu. I have it all planned out. Yeah? So, yeah? Okay. Some tea for you? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Is that tea? Don't oh, worry. It's a healthy drink. Yeah? <laughs> it's a healthy drink. Don't worry. Just chill out. This is a cup of 310. Uh -huh. I told you. It is turning from water to wine. Or vice versa. Jesus right here. <laughs> Jesus right here. So, so guys, tell me about this cup. This cup tells you, you know what? Have you seen the video? The Lord has done amazing things. Hasn't he? Yes. And we continue to trust him change our lives from inside out. When I feel the sun. And as you walk away with the car, walk away with things here, it's not goodies. It's just a statement that the Lord who's brought us this far is faithful in every little spaces in our lives. And he is interested. He's what? He's interested. And not only interested, but he's willing to do this. And so we invite you, and as many as you can uh, bring from your families and networks, to invite them to a place where the Lord changes from inside out, growing deep to reach wide. Thank you very much. Let's celebrate the movie session again. So a few announcements, uh, back to business, anniversary business in the Asia, so Nyumbani, so back. Agenda number one on, 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 on business. Anniversary in Asia, Just like that? Yes. Okay. So when the first of December? So every first Saturday of the month, we'll be having prayers. Yeah. Hey, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. They were thinking you say every first Sunday we'll have a barbecue. Ah, this is a barbecue. Every first Saturday of the month we'll be having prayers and to just spend time together as a family and pray together. Cindy, what else will we be doing? So kids are closing school, yeah? Okay. For a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. Do you have children? I saw some in quest. Do you have children? Yes. Oh. Are they closing school? Yes. Okay, let me let me say the ones that are doing KCPE in that system. What is that system called? 844. 844. Muna funga You're closing school in April, yeah? Yes. And uh, we've decided that as part of the kids ministry, we're going to have a kids camp okay. on eleventh to thirteenth of April. Okay. We'll provide details around the venue. The costs are 3,000 shillings per child, and the camp runs from 8 to 4 p.m., 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah. Wow. 
So for at least five days, you know that the children will be occupied. Now, Kazi Kwenu, the rest of the holiday, you find activities, yeah? Okay, well, we'll just buy a shamba, read. Those are the two weeks. One is sorted. <laughs> for the other shamba they did? Yes, for the other week. You have to pay for their rent, yeah? <laughs> but, we are starting a new believers class. Yeah, so, uh, if you're a new believer, if you know a new believer, please sign them in. Uh, uh, the intention of the new believers class is to just help clarify uh, to the new believers what just happened. Yeah, so that we come to this walk of faith with very many ideas. Some of which are right, a lot of which are not right. Okay, so sign up at the back. The same sign up uh, where you sign up for the new believers you'll also find a sign-up for kids come here. Yeah? And a final announcement, uh, Rose? Pastor Box, in the video, talked about a coffee run. What does that mean? Does it mean we get coffee? It's sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, this is sun, yeah? From where she comes from, when she hears sun, I mean uh, running, she thinks of... Uh, in the Jevarba. In the Jevarba. The run and the go in the camp. And, uh, uh, London Marathon, and not that one, no. My mother ran, my father ran, so no, 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 no. Run. no, 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 no. So what's a coffee run? Coffee run. It's a chance we have to go out. A lot of the time we do it at the square, current square, in the evenings, and serve coffee to strangers, serve coffee to passers-by, and use that opportunity to share the love of Christ. So it's really a walk, not a run, yeah? But it's a run for Christ. So you are all invited, we put up uh, dates, prepare for that. Sawa so, sawa? So? Okay? Okay? You guys need to be loyal because there's lunch. There's lunch. Okay? Okay, so finally, I want to invite Pastor David Box up. Celebrate him as he comes up. And we must decrease as he increases. <laughs> Thank you so much, Victor and Rose. Let's appreciate them. Thank you. Asante Nisana. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's great to see all of you here. Welcome for our anniversary celebration. And it's, it's great to see you. And it's great to see how well. Isn't this place beautiful? Yes. We have an amazing team that was here until about 10 p.m. setting everything up. So they've really done an amazing job. We're so grateful to them. I want to invite a special group of people to join me on stage. If I could have the core team join me, I'd like to introduce them to you and share with them what, what this ministry actually means. So anyone who's here who's in the core team, I see some of you around, please come up and join me. So we, we have a, a number of them who are around. And for those of you who don't know, we actually have a ministry here it's our leadership team, our, or our, our advisory team. We call it our core team. But the role that they play is to speak into the decisions we make as a church, to give us advice and guidance as we move forward, and to look at some of the challenges we face. So for example, last year we had a challenge of a venue. And where we were meeting at Bunks and Biddles, it seemed like it wasn't quite large enough for us, the parking wasn't enough. And so we met as a team, we deliberated on where we could meet. And we came up with probably a dozen different venues that we considered. And each one of us, you know, went to different places, looked at the price, looked at the availability, and we eventually found that we could move to Hillcrest. But they're the ones who've spoken to a lot of the decisions that we make, our strategy moving forward, issues of spending. They're the team that also looked at, you know, our ongoing weekly expenses and said, let's remove the team. Let's make that something that other people can take care of, take that off the church budget. And they're the ones that spoke into many of those decisions. So let me introduce them for us. On this side, we have Jimmy, Jimmy Bett. And so he, he works, he runs his own business. He works in, in payments in that area. But he's been leading, he's helping us with, with our security ministry. That's a new ministry we're hoping to formalize uh, for today and as we move forward to provide a lot of security around our children and parking, things like that. But Jimmy's also brought a lot of ideas for us, and he's been a very helpful member of our team. And then Rose, you've seen, 
And so Rose has hosted us as a team. She's brought in so many ideas about what we can do, how we can do our services, and um, we really appreciate her contributions as well. So thank you, Rose. Yeah, then we have Kiganzi. So Kiganzi is uh, coming to us from Uganda, but she, she lives here, she works at the UN. And so Kiganzi has also been a central member of this team. And she's been a central member of our church in the very beginning. So she's helped us with ushering, she's helped us with hospitality. She's really put together many of the details of this barbecue and the barbecues we've done in the past. So Kiganzi is the reason that many of these things that you see are here. And that the food means so much. So thank you so much, Kiganzi, for all that you do for us. We really appreciate it. And then you've seen Dr. Stella in the video, Dr. Stella Kubasa, she's a dentist. Um, but she also has been instrumental for us in our hospitality ministry especially. She's been instrumental in our media, um, filming, taking photos, almost every single service we've had from the time we've started. And you've seen her share how much Karen has meant to her, and I just want to tell you how much you mean to Karen as well. And thank you, Dr. Stella, so much for, even your whole family. I mean, there's so many, I mean, James and, and, and other, Abby. I mean, she, she's really brought in a number of, of people into the congregation, into our, our leadership teams who have been instrumental in what we do here. So thank you so much, Dr. Stella. We have Stella Chege as well. Now Stella basically ran our children's ministry for about the first six months that we operated as a church. And we did not have a full-time children's pastor, but Stella came in, she was with us at Gong Road, and she came in and she got us off the ground at Bunks and Biddles every single week, taking care of the kids, bringing in toys, paying for many things herself, and really doing so much for us. She's also been a faithful member of our team, giving ideas, putting in insight, and, and thank you, Stella, for all that you've done. We really appreciate it. And then here we have a couple, actually, we have Betty, Betty Mule, who's, who's also been uh, an integral part of our leadership team, and she has provided many of our ideas. She's also been a huge part of putting together this particular barbecue as well, and, and helping with the ideas, the flow, the, the cooking, all of that. And so we, we really appreciate you, Betty, for all that you've done. I think you just helped provide our cake, and you'll see her in a few minutes. But thank you so much for all that you've done for this team. And then Benson, we have Benson Kanui as well, and, and so they've been our, our couple on the core team. And Benson is very faithful in meeting our new visitors almost every single week. And so he, he welcomes them, all those who come into church for the first time, he welcomes them, and he also provides a lot of insight into our church. He gives me feedback and come and tell me, David, you know, we really need to work on this. And I really appreciate all of your ideas for the service, for the, the music, the sound, and all the ways that he desires us to improve and to grow as a team. So thank you so much, Mr. Benson. We appreciate it. I think there's a few others. I know Sam Degua is around somewhere. I, I think he's probably cooking. Um, yeah, and Joe. Joe as well. Joe is here just a minute ago. I think Joe is also cooking. And so some of them are active. Um, Jacqueline Oluea, we have another member of our core team who's traveling. She also works for the UN. Her, her job involves a lot of travel, but she contributes a lot to our team and to our decision-making process as well. So I, I'd ask you to, to rise on your feet, and I'd like to pray over this team. And as we go into the next year as a church, as we go into year two that we're beginning today, as we think about the ministries we want to prioritize, the way we use our resources, the way we handle pastoral care, the way we you know, look after our visitors, this is the team that will be the front line on many of those decisions. So I want us to all pray over them, that God would be with them, that God would unite us as a church and as a leadership team in particular, and that God would go before us and show us the way that he would desire us to take in the year ahead. Because it's only with God's favor, and if we're unified in God's will, that we'll make progress to reach where God desires us to be. So let's just go ahead and pray over this team. I ask you just to extend your hands. You can pray over this team, even as we can have Joe and Sam come forward just as we pray for the team. So let's pray over them. I'll just have them come on stage. And we'll begin. Thank you, Joe and Sam. For all you're doing with the, the Choma out there, for making time to, to join us briefly here. Let's go ahead and pray for them. Dear Lord, I thank you for this team, oh God. I thank you for bringing them together, for unifying them. I thank you for allowing us to serve together 
in the decision-making process, allowing us to honor you, O oh God, and to seek you through all the decisions you make as a church. I pray that you continue to draw us to yourself, to give us wisdom as we decide what to do and how we go about it, O oh God. I thank you for all of us who are here to celebrate what you've done in our midst over the past year, the community that you have formed, O oh Lord, and the way that you have built this church, even as we seek to honor you with our services. I pray for even our, our small groups that we're seeking to begin, the new ministries that haven't yet started, for all those who are putting together our barbecue, who have done this setup, I thank you for all the things that are going on around us, oh God. And I pray that you'd be with us and provide for us, oh Lord. So I do thank you again for each one of these members of our team. I pray that you encourage them and bless them. And I pray that we can also stand together as you move forward in your world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 I think Paul and Peter is one of the members who didn't join us. But Paul is at the back there. Maybe I could just have him come forward just so you, you get to see him. Paul is also a member of our core team. He's also been an instrumental part of our setup, our sound. And, and he's been a, a huge part of our church from the very beginning. So let's appreciate Paul as he comes forward. Yeah, so, so Paul's also, um, he's a member of our core team, he's been speaking to our decisions. But from the very beginning, as I had said, he helps us with the setup, he comes here on Saturday, very early on a Sunday, along with Matende and, and, and several others who also help us with sound. So thank you, Paul. Asante so if we have any teenagers who are here, I'll ask you to move across the, cor the courtyard we have outside to the classrooms on the other end. And we have a discussion time for teams that goes on the same time as our sermon. So I think they're about to begin or, or, or have perhaps already started. But any teens who are here who haven't joined them, I'll ask you to go across and to find the discussion that's going on for our teens church. And you can continue with that discussion. And as well, it's time to give. So you can take your seats as I'll ask the worship team to come on to play a song for our offering. But if you'd like to give by M-Pesa, our pay bill number is 508-701. And you can designate it by saying account number, account name, NC Karen, or just Karen. If you'd like to give by check, please write the check to Nairobi Chapel on the front. And then write Nairobi Chapel Karen on the back side of the check. And then we'll have our ushers to wait on us. I don't think we asked for first time visitors, did we? No. We didn't do that, did we? No. So I'll ask our ushers to get ready. If we can get ready the first time visitor cards. How many of us are here for the very first time? Just please put up your hand. If it's your very first time here, in the little child Wow, we have quite a number. Quite a number. So please keep your hands up all the way. Keep your hands up. We have something for you. We have a card that we'd ask you to fill in. If you're able to fill it in before the offering, you can put it in the basket. Otherwise, please bring it to our desk at the, at the end as you go. We have a, an info desk at the back. And as well, if you'd like to sign up for the New Believers class, we have a sign-up sheet for you to buy our cups, the mugs that we're selling, and the uh, t-shirts. All that will be at the desk in the back. But please keep your hands up. There are still ushers going around who are bringing the new visitor cards for you. So we'd like to get to know you, just get some, some info about you so we can follow up, see how you're doing, and stay in touch with you. But thank you for coming to visit us today, and we appreciate your presence here to worship with us. So thank you so much. Okay, I invite the worship team to go ahead. Amen.